Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for my new bracelet that is based on the Nickelodeon kids show Paw Patrol. So this is my second bracelet. I have another one with three other characters, but on this one, there is a bulldog named Rubble. There is what I think is a chocolate lab named Zuma. There's the boy from the series whose name is Ryder. And then there's this cute little girl dog named Sky. So I wasn't familiar with this series because my kids are a little bit beyond this age level. But um, I had been asked to make this bracelet and I thought the characters were super cute. And I think even if you aren't familiar with this series, this would be a cute bracelet to make for anyone that loves dogs. So I think it turned out really cute. To make this bracelet, you can either use the Alpha Loom, which is what I used, or you can use the Full Size Rainbow Loom. So I do prefer to make it on the Alpha Loom because the pins are spaced a little bit farther apart, so you have some more room for the bracelet to grow down through. And then you also have the Alpha Comb that has the seven hooks, so you can make the bracelet a lot faster. But if you don't have access to the Alpha Loom, you can definitely do this on the Rainbow Loom. You'll only need two rows of pins, and you just want to have them in line with one another. And then you would use seven sets of pins that are straight across from one another. To make this bracelet, I used 378 of the colored bands, and then 54 of the clear. So to break it down by the colors, I used 135 green, 63 orange, 18 yellow, 48 white, 35 black, 2 blue, 4 pink, 24 brown, and you can see these are the full size so you'll need to double them. And these did come out of the Camouflage Rainbow Loom pack, and these skin tone ones also came out of the camouflage pack. You'll need 49 of those and again you'll need to double and then as I said 54 of the clear. So I wanted to give you just a very brief demonstration about what it means to double a band. So when you're dealing with the alpha loom bands they're nice and small so all you do is stretch those straight across from one pin to the other. But when you're dealing with a regular size band, which you will often have to do if you want any color that isn't available for the Alpha Loom bands, you're going to have a band that's about twice as big. So you're going to have to double this, which you can do in your fingers, you can do it on your hook. What I found is the easiest is to just place it on one of the pins, twist, and then just loop that other end back on. And then what you just need to do is take your hook and grab both of those loops and stretch it straight across. So basically now you've just doubled that so it's going to be about the same width as your regular Alpha Loom band. So here is my bracelet once again and I'll add a grid pattern above my bracelet and then you can just pause your video and follow along with that grid pattern to make your own bracelet. So let me just tell you a little bit more specifics about this bracelet. I used 54 rows and when I measured it, it was a little bit more than seven and a half inches in length. So if you need to know how long you need to make your own bracelet, if you have the Alpha Loom on the flip side of the instructions, they give you a template that you can use to measure your wrist to get an idea of how long you need to make yours. Or I can tell you that about seven rows equals an inch, give or take just a little bit, so you can judge it off of that. So you may need to make your own bracelet longer or shorter depending on the size of your wrist. So for this bracelet I have two rows on the ends and then two rows in between each of the characters. So if you need to add or subtract rows you would obviously want to do it at the ends or then in between each of these. And there is the other bracelet that has three other characters on. So of course you can mix and match the characters to get whatever bracelet you would like. I hope that everyone loves their new Puppy Patrol bracelets. 
You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!